your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, The Mafia Free Family Matters, set in Whittleton Creek. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it. And has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Disappointed Fox. So moving on to our briefing, good evening 47, the Sapienza Mafia has located former members of their family that have gone awry, having betrayed the family for a supposedly better financial influence, they are residing in the suburban utopia of Whittleton Creek, where opposing Mafia families go into hiding. This is a sentimental contract for the Sapienza Mafia, so they are offering 500 grand per head. Happy hunting! So moving on to our targets and today we have 5 of them with no stipulations on how we dispatch them or what we wear whilst we do so, so we have a free map. So for today's challenge we'll be starting as the gar garbage man we're going to have our silence pistol stored up in the Hansen's basement and we'll be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to make our way directly into the Hansen's basement and retrieve our silenced pistol. So we're just going to lockpick our way into the garage, into the door at the back of the garage and then down through the basement and into the secret tunnel beyond which is where our silent pistol is located there are a number of things in this area so we're just going to take our silent pistol make our way into the tunnel uh, a number of the items in here are quite useful and first and foremost will be the Janus bodyguard outfit. There is a couple of pistols and grenades and stuff as well. So once we are through to the end of the tunnel here, we're just going to wait for the guard in Janus's basement to move away and then we will move in and render him unconscious. So anywhere about now will do, yeah, that puts him right by the closet provided and he is no longer our concern. So while we're down here we're also going to take out the surveillance system as there are a number of cameras in the house we would have to avoid. So from here we're going to make our way up into the house proper and before we do we're just going to use instinct and as expected there is Janus and Gumpfer, his bodyguard, so we're going to wait for them to move off into the kitchen and then we're going to head up the stairs and you can see just on our right is our target and we're going to make our way into the study and we're just basically going to work our way around the top floor in an anti-clockwise direction until we can get into position to take out the other guard on the floor here. So he has just gone to our right there, he stood by the window, our target is stood in the corridor as usual and the other guard will in a moment go into the spare room, there he goes, he's just about to head in there now, we're going to wait for our target to turn and move to the other end of the corridor and then we can then proceed to make our way into the study room, render the guard unconscious, we're going to hide his body in the closet provided, and we are now all alone with our target. So we're just going to retrieve our briefcase there. Now we can do this a number of ways, but I think we'll just be as bold as brass, and we'll just shoot him in the back of the head, making sure that Janus and Gumpfer are not currently on their way back up here. Uh, I believe they're in the garden at the moment, so we have plenty of time. 
So, target one has been taken care of. We're just going to retrieve our briefcase once again. I know it's empty, but it will come in handy in a short while. So, we're going to move on out of Janus's house and we're going to head now for the creek shed where we will find a propane cylinder. So, we're just going to head straight over here and this is for one of our targets who can be somewhat tricky on occasion but if we get things right uh, he will eliminate himself with almost no effort from us so we're going to duck in through the back window of the creek shed and grab the propane cylinder we're then going to head to the very last house by the garbage van there is our target currently leaning on his railing so we're going to throw our propane cylinder over by the chair there now unfortunately that hit the chair and bounced quite a long way away uh, so we're just going to wait for the target to move out he will get irate that we've just run across his lawn but we shall ignore him and carry on as normal so we're going to re-throw our propane cylinder much closer to the chair and that second time was a much better throw and our target will eventually go back to that area and he will sit in the chair and somehow blow himself up although I don't think he's a smoker so while we're waiting for him to do that we're going to make our way into the Hanson's garden and retrieve the propane cylinder from the barbecue there and we're going to place that one in our briefcase and we're going to return now to our target who is still wandering around uh, he does remain quite irate when you run on his lawn for a little while which does slow down his routine a bit so eventually he'll go and sit back in the chair and blow himself out of earth and almost through his own house so from here on out we're gonna make our way to the house for sale and we're gonna collect up the third and final propane cylinder that is located within the kitchen all the doors are locked there is a key outside the front door but we're going in through the back so we'll go in through the bathroom window into the kitchen grab the propane cylinder and then we will exit via the front door so our next stop will be the Wilson's property which is luckily enough just the next door here and we're gonna head into the far side area and just about halfway down the path around about here somewhere maybe that's a little far forward would like to be a little bit closer to the gate but there will do we're going to place our propane cylinder just on the path there just off to one side we're going to make our way back to the gate and we're just going to wait for this couple to make their way past and our target who is currently coming towards us to go past as well and once she goes past she will stop just outside the gate very briefly before returning and that will give us just enough time once she gets past us to crouch down pull out our silence pistol and put one hole in the propane cylinder and then we can move a safe distance away as our target will be returning at any moment now and whilst doing so she will be smoking a cigarette so she lights the cigarette much closer to the gate but we have managed to detonate the propane and that is three targets now taken care of our next target is also in the Wilson's property and also a smoker although he is also a guard and currently on high alert so we're just going to wait for him to lose interest, put away his hand cannon and then wait for the other gentleman to move away and then we're going to throw our propane cylinder at his feet again move a safe distance away 
and when he loses his interest he will ignite his propane cylinder for us and ooh, we really didn't stick the land in on that one so four targets down one more to go and our final target is the easiest of the bunch as he is already completely isolated and alone so we're just going to make our way up the stairs into the spare room and shoot him in the head no one else goes in there so we can leave him where he lies and then all we have to do is to make good our escape and the nearest available safe exit is a 50 50 choice between the bus stop or the bridge and as usual i will go for the bus stop uh, i've already done quite a lot of walking today it's time for a ride home so there we go one more trending contract taken care of and we have confirmation all of our targets were eliminated according to plan and we got our silent assassin rating i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video